This is the day the Lord has made. Alleluia, alleluia. Let us rejoice and be glad in Him. Alleluia, alleluia. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, as we prepare ourselves in the sacred mystery, let us call to mind our sins and ask God mercy and compassion. All say, I confess to, to Almighty God, God and, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May the Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. pray. Keep your family safe, O Lord, with unfailing care, that relying solely on the hope of heavenly grace, they may be defended always by your protection. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the first book of Kings. When Solomon was old, his wives was torn his heart to estrange gods. And his heart was not entirely with the Lord, with his God, as the heart of his father David had been. By adoring Astarte, the goddess of the Sidonians, and Milcom, the idol of the Ammonites, Solomon did evil in the sight of the Lord. He did not follow him unreservedly as his father David had done. Solomon then built a high place to Chemos, the idol of Moab, and to Molech, the idol of the Ammonites, on the hill opposite the Jerusalem. He did the same for all his foreign wives, who burn incense and sacrifice to their gods. The Lord, therefore, became angry with Solomon because his heart was torn away from the Lord, the God of Israel, who had appeared to him twice. For though the Lord had forbidden him this very act of following strange God, Solomon had not obeyed him. So the Lord said to Solomon, Since this is what you want, and you have not kept my covenant and my statutes, which I enjoin on you, I will deprive you of the kingdom and give it to your servant. I will not do this during your lifetime. However, for the sake of your father David, 
It is your son whom I will deprive, nor will I take away the whole kingdom. I will leave your son one tribe for the sake of my servant David, and of the Jerusalem which I have chosen. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm, remember us, O Lord, as you favor your people. Remember us, O Lord, as you favor your people. Blessed are they who observe what is right, who do always what is just. Remember us, O Lord, as you favor your people. Visit us with your saving health. Remember us, O Lord, as you favor your people. But they mingled with the nations and learned their works. They served their idols, which became a snare for them. Remember us, O Lord, as you favor your people. They sacrificed their sons and their daughters to demons. And the Lord grew angry with his people and abhorred his inheritance. Remember us, O Lord, as you favor your people. Let us all stand. Spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus went to the district of Tyre. He entered a house and wanted no one to know about him. But he could not escape notice. Soon a woman whose daughter had an unclean spirit heard about him. She came and fell at his feet. The woman was a Greek, a Syroponician by birth, and she begged him to drive the demon out of her daughter. He said to her, Let the children be fed first, for it is not right to take the food of the children and throw it to the dogs. She replied and said to him, Lord, even the dogs under the table eat the children's scraps. Then he said to her, For saying this, you may go. The demon has gone out of your daughter. When the woman went home, she found the child lying in bed and the demon gone. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Magandang hapon po sa inyong lahat. Magandang hapon po, Father. Part of our 10-year formation in seminary is what we called ISPF in Lucena, uh, sa theology, intensive spiritual pastoral formation. At part din po doon ay ang pag-duty namin sa ospital. At kapag po kami ay nag-duty sa ospital, syempre andun ang lahat ng mga may sakit at nandun din ang lahat ng mga kamag-anak ng may sakit. One time, nasa chapel po ako ng isang ospital at nakita ko ang isang babae umiiyak. At alam niyo po ba, kinausap niyo po ako ang sabi, Brother, seminarista pa po ako noon. Brother, alam niyo po, 
hindi ko naman talaga pinagdadasal sa Diyos na gumaling ang aking anak. Ang akin lamang hinihiling sa Diyos at lagi kong sinasabi, ano man po ang inyo pong kalooban mangyari nawa. Ang tagal-tagal ko na pong nagdarasal dahil ang tagal na pong may sakit ng aking anak. In today's gospel, we have heard a woman, ang isang ina na nagsusumamo kay Jesus, na pagalingin ang kanyang anak na inaalihan ng masamang espiritu. Ngunit, tinanggihan siya ni Jesus sapagkat ang babaeng ito ay isang hintil, hindi hudiyo. Kaya nga, ang sabi ng ating Panginoon, hindi pwedeng kunin ang pagkain sa anak at itapon o ibigay sa aso. Ngunit napakaganda ng sagot ng isang babae na nagsusumamo sa ating Panginoon. Kahit po ang aso ay nanginginain sa, hapagka, sa ilalim ng hapagkainan na nalalaglag na mumo. Ito yung napakagandang pinapakita ng isang babae. Lakas ng loob, kababaan ng loob, at pagtitiwala at pananampalataya sa Diyos. Alam ko, hindi masusukat ang pagmamahal ng isang ina sa kanyang anak, lalo tigit kapag ang kanyang anak ay nasa bingit ng kamatayan dahil sa karamdaman. Lahat gagawin ng isang ina. Kaya nga makikita natin, naninikluhod ang isang babaeng ito sa ating Panginoon. Ngunit dahil sa kanyang malalim na pananampalataya, ang ating Panginoon hindi na pumunta sa bahay ng babae. Pagkasabi pa lamang ng babae na kahit ang aso ay nanginginain din ang bumong nalalaglag sa pagkainan. Doon gumaling ang anak ng babae. Kaya nga mga kapatid, ang dami din nating pinagdadaanan sa buhay. Ang dami din nating mga problema. Ngunit ang tanong, malalim kaya ang pananampalataya natin sa Diyos? Mayroon tayong pinagdadaanan, lalo tigit ang mga may karamdaman at sakit. Ngunit gaano nakalalim ang ating paniniwala at pananampalataya sa Diyos? Na kahit subukin tayo ng Diyos, huwag tayong bibit, bibitaw. Huwag tayong titigil sa ating pananalangin. Ang Diyos may dahilan. Kung bakit hanggang ngayon, minsan napapagod ka na sa pagdadasal, na tila baga hindi sinasagot ng Diyos ang ating mga kahilingan, pero ang Diyos may takdang panahon. Tatlo lang naman ang sagot ng ating Panginoon kapag tayo humihiling sa Kanya. Oo, kapag ito'y makabubuti sa atin at makapagdadala sa atin sa langit, hindi kapag ito'y ikapapahamak natin at ikatlong sagot niya, saglit muna, teka lang, iahanda muna kita sa iyong hinihiling na biyaya. Ganyan ang Diyos. Mahal tayo ng Diyos at hindi masusukat ang Kanyang pagmamahal sa atin. Kaya mga kapatid, sana magtiwala tayo sa Diyos. Subukin man tayo, patuloy tayong manalangin. Katulad ng isang ina sa ospital na aking pong nakausap, siya ay nagtitiwala sa Diyos. Hindi man niyang hinihiling na pagalingin ng kanyang anak na may sakit, pero ang lagi niyang sinasabi, ang kalooban niyo nawa ang mangyari, hindi ang akin. May malalim na paniniwala at pananampalataya na siyang taglay din natin upang tayo ay pagkalooban ng Diyos ng buhay na walang hanggan. Amen. Amen. For those with envelope offerings, you may drop them at our collection baskets. Thank you. 
open our hearts to receive your forgiveness, O Lord. Lord, we lift up to you all these gifts we offer for your glory. We will lift this living bread. We will drink this evening cup and feel your presence, O Lord. Let us all stand. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. O Lord, our God, who once established these created things to sustain us in our frailty, grant, we pray, that they may become for us now the sacrament of eternal life, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For although you have no need of our praise, yet our thanksgiving is itself your gift. Since our praises add nothing to your greatness, but profit us for salvation through Christ our Lord, and so, in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you and with joy we proclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth, For those who cannot kneel, please remain standing with reverence. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like a dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, 
Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of His death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Gilbert, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, her most chaste spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may be married to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him, with Him, and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen, amen, amen. Let us all stand. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. For those who cannot kneel, please remain standing with reverence. Brothers and sisters, behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Our second collection is intended for the continuing development of the parish and national shrine of St. Padre Pio and for the needs and welfare of the sick and retired priests of the Archdiocese of Lipa. Thank you for your offering. Please all stand. Let us pray. O God, who have willed that we be partakers in the one bread and the ch one chalice, grant us, we pray, so to live that made one in Christ, we may joyfully bear fruit for the salvation of the world through Christ our Lord. Amen. Prayer for intercession to Santo Padre Pio. All together, Padre Pio, holy monk from Pietrelcina, outstanding saint of the present era, our bright beacon on this earthly pilgrimage, our sanctuary in times of trouble, holy, holy exemplar, exemplar of great courage. courage. With, With you, you our, our needs do we confide, as well as, we as our livelihood, our, our health, health, and our, our might. might. Unworthy as we are, we pray that you concede, bless and grace us that our lives may be fulfilled. From sin may we abstain, in God may we remain. We also beseech thee, servant of the Most Holy, to instruct us in the Gospel, 
that we may reflect and believe. Our requests are before thee. Our hearts repent, resolving earnestly to not sin again, to always follow God the Father, together with the Spirit and Jesus the Mediator. Amen. Magsipo muna po ang lahat para sa ilang patalastas. Una po sa inyong pagdalaw dito sa Pambansang Dambana, mangyaring pakaingatan ang inyong mga personal na gamit. Hangad namin ang isang matiwasay at maayos na pagbisita sa National Shrine. Ikalawa, mga kapiyo, kami po ay humingi ng inyong konting oras at pakikiisa para sa pagsusulat ng inyong mga pangalan at ilang detalye sa ating Pilgrim's Information Record Books na makikita sa paligid ng ating simbahan. Ito po ay bahagi ng documentation program para sa pagpapalawig ng mga datos at turismong pangsimbahan at bilang alaala na rin ng inyong pagbisita dito sa Pambansang Dambana. Para po sa ating mga balikbayan, OFW, o kung kayo po ay may kasamang foreigners, doon po kayo susulat sa International Pilgrims Record Book. Kayo po ay gagabayan ng ating mga tagapaglingkod. Sa darating na ikalabing apat ng Pebrero ay simula na ng panahon ng Kwaresma. Mangyari pong pakidala ng inyong mga lumang palaspas dito sa ating simbahan na ating susunugin upang gamitin sa Mirkles ng Abo. Muli marami pong salamat sa inyong pakikisa at sana po'y mapanatili natin ang kalinisan, katahimikan at diwa ng pananalangin sa loob at labas ng ating simbahan. Maaari na po tayong tumayo para sa pagbabasbas ng mga religious articles. Mga kapatid, manalangin tayo sa Diyos amang makapangyarihan upang tayo ay maging kawangis ni Kristo sa taimtim na pagdalangin sa tulong ng mga larawan at mga dasalan. Pakihawakan po ng inyong mga pababasbasang religious articles. O Panginoon Diyos, Ikaw ang bukal ng lahat ng pagpapala at biyaya. Ibuhos mo ang iyong bindisyon sa mga gamit na ito ng pananalangin, mga rosaryo, imahen at dasalan na nagpapaalala ng iyong kabutihan, kabanalan at pagmamahal sa amin upang ang lahat ng dumulog at magdasal gamit ang mga ito ay magtamo ng iyong awa at biyaya. Loobin mong tularan nila ang kabanalan at aral ng Panginoon at ng mga santo magpasawalang hanggan. Amen. Tayo po'y manalangin. Ama namin, sumasa langit ka, sambahin ang ngalan mo, mapasa amin ang kaharian mo, sundin ang loob mo dito sa lupa para nang sa langit. Bigyan mo kami ngayon ng aming kakanin sa araw-araw at patawarin mo kami sa aming mga sala para nang pagpapatawad namin sa nagkakasala sa amin at huwag mo kaming ipahintulod sa tukso at iadya mo kami sa lahat ng masama. Amen. Abaginoong Maria, napupuno ka ng grasya, ang Panginoong Diyos ay suma sa iyo. Mukot kang pinagpala sa babaeng lahat at pinagpala naman ang iyong anak na si Jesus. Santa Maria, Ina ng Diyos, ipanalangin mo kaming makasalanan ngayon at kung kami mamamatay. Amen. Luwalhati sa Ama, sa Anak at sa Espiritu Santo, kapara noong una, ngayon at magpasawalang hanggan. Amen. Luwalhati sa Ama, sa Anak at sa Espiritu Santo, kapara noong una, ngayon at magpasawalang hanggan. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may the Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass is ended. Let us go in peace. Thanks be to God. Give thanks to the Lord. Thanks to the Lord, proclaim His name, proclaim His name, give thanks to the Lord.